Good morning guys, this is Sunday's breakfast. I made a breakfast sandwich in my, it's disgusting, but breakfast sandwich maker. Um, it's a high fiber English muffin that is simply filling. It is two slices of Canadian bacon, which is simply filling. A slice of skim milk sharp cheddar that is simply filling, because um, it's fat free. And an egg, and then just the top. So. All of this is simply filling, but if we were to count the points, it would be three points for the English muffin, one point for the Canadian bacon, two, three, four, six with the egg, because the uh, cheese is zero for one slice. So this would be a six point breakfast sandwich. And I also have coffee, which is just four ounces of the chameleon cold brew mocha with fat-free milk and then some sugar-free white chocolate mocha syrup all for zero or simply filling well no i don't know what the fat-free milk would be in points and then a banana see you later all right so i am still hungry so i made a vanilla yogurt parfait i used the dan light and fit greek yogurt that is simply filling a cup is four points strawberries and then some cheerios so I'm gonna have this too. Is anybody else having the most productive Sunday ever? Because I am! I also wish that my life was just in this filter all the time. <laughs> all right guys, I am having a really productive Sunday. I feel so good. So for lunch, I just have a bunch of leftovers. I have the leftover potatoes from last night. The left some of the leftover rotisserie chicken um, from last night and then also some of or the, the leftover wild rice and brown rice that I made Thursday I don't remember Thursday Friday I don't know but you know that day that I made it so components the potatoes were originally just tossed in some olive oil rosemary oregano and salt and baked and then at what was it 400 for 30 minutes the rotisserie chicken was just a chicken i had bought from sam's and took the skin off and then i mixed it up with some i think some garlic salt and oh, oh the potatoes also had some parmesan cheese on there but zero points worth um some fat-free mozzarella with the chicken and then uh, when I was making this I added a little bit of olive oil just to like you know juice it up and some garlic salt so yummy it is entirely simply filling I have absolutely no idea the points sorry guys just to update you I've been prepping some stuff last um, maybe hour or so I just cut up both my pineapples and put them in there. I made some of my salsa, which is two cans of Rotel. I used original this time and it is pretty kicky. <laughs> um, two cans of, two small cans of Rotel or a large can. Um, then I have a white onion as well as a bunch of cilantro and half a tablespoon of garlic in here. I just blend it up. It's really, really good. It's definitely my, well, I don't know if it's my preferred. I mean, some jarred salsas are okay for me, but it's my preferred fresh salsa. So, made that, and then I made regular tortilla chips, as well as some ranch tortilla chips. Um, I have some over here. So these are the, I burned them a little bit, that's okay. Um, regular tortilla chips. And then over here I have the tortilla chips, but I put the ranch, seasoning on it thanks to Celia from the Motivated Muffins. It's so delicious. What I used to make these are the Mission Extra Thin Yellow Corn Tortillas. They are low fat. The tracker says, hold on just a second. I'll talk to you because it's a long explanation. The tracker says reduced fat corn tortilla eight inch. It's very nondescript, I mean, as far as color. So, in my opinion, any corn tortilla that is eight inches and reduced fat would be considered simply filling, right? I mean, that's my logic, and I think that's a lot of other people's logic. 
looking through the Facebook group. Um, so you kind of do what you want to do, but I'm going to use those as simply filling. I'm going to do some further research as far as comparing the nutrition information to the white corn tortilla that is eight inches and non-fat um, to see if they are the same. If they are, then we're good to go. If they're not, you kind of just, that's where the whole phrase, let your weight loss be your guide comes into play. Um, so that is the story behind those corn tortillas. And I've just been so productive today. I'm so excited. Right now I'm gonna finish some laundry. I still have to work, which sucks. It's like 3.30 I think right now, 3.15. So I need to start working. I've been putting it off, but oh well. Um, so you'll probably see me next around dinner time. Bye. All right guys, here is dinner. I have one of the Aldi sandwich skinnies that is simply filling. Oh, I don't know the points on it. It's probably three points. Then I have a burger under there that's 93.7 um, with a slice of Kraft fat-free sharp cheddar for zero. Um, the burger is probably four points. I don't know. It's simply filling. Onion, lettuce, and of course mustard and ketchup. And then I made some french fries. There is, um, I'll link the recipe that I use down below because it's a uh, Seasoning is the most important part, of course, so um, they are entirely simply filling, though, and then ketchup, and I can't wait to eat it. Hey, little girl. So I wanted to hang some shelves in the bathroom to put my crap on, and I had Chad help me because he's my husband. <laughs> he finishes hanging them up, and he's like, they're really unlevel. And I'm like, no, they're unlevel. Why would you not check that when you're putting them up? Apparently it's my fault because I put the holes markings on the wall. Hey guys, so I just wanted to recap um, or finish up the vlog from Sunday. It was the most productive day for me. I loved it. Um, I mean, I woke up really early just on my own. I got up at like, I woke up maybe around seven. We just kind of hung around. Then I got up out of bed at eight. I made us breakfast sandwiches for breakfast. And we watched some amazing race in the morning. And then I was like, after this episode, I'm getting up and I'm doing stuff. So I think I was up and around like doing stuff by 10 o'clock. I started, um, I spray painted my bathroom shelves that Chad hung up for me yesterday. Um, those took a couple of coats, so I had to spray them, come in, do something else, spray them, come in, do something else. So I like when things are going on all at the same time. So I sprayed those and then I came in, I did my, like two loads of my laundry, three loads of my laundry. Yes, three loads. And then I also cleaned the kitchen pretty much top to bottom. I did like a whole bunch of little things. Like I cleaned the blender that Chad uses every single day. I cleaned the sinks. I did like the stainless steel stuff on all my on all of our appliances. I I don't know. Oh, I filmed a grocery haul. I did my some of my prep. Like I cut up some pineapples, I made tortilla chips, I made my salsa. Um you know, I just felt super productive. And then I had to work. I worked for about two and a half hours, um, some overtime for another department. And I made dinner. I started changing over the, some of the hangers in Chad's closet. I don't know. I felt like really productive yesterday, which is great because I haven't had a, a weekend really to do that yet. So it felt so good. Um, what else did I do? I feel like I did something else. Oh, I don't know, but um, yeah, so yesterday was a really, really great day. I did not have anything else after dinner. Those fries were really good, so I'll try and remember to add that to the description box. Um, and that's it. I did not drink enough water yesterday or Saturday. Like I can feel it. This is gonna sound weird, 
but I can feel it in my back. Like I woke up this morning and my back was hurting and I and I usually feel that way if I've A, had too much sugar or B, have not had enough water. And it was definitely not the sugar thing. I didn't have any sugar yesterday. Did I have unsweetened olive sauce? No, I don't even think I had that. Um, oh, I did have a yogurt. I forgot to tell you this. I did have a yogurt at like 5.30 when I was working. Um, so a non-fat Greek yogurt, simply filling. Um, anyway, so I definitely didn't have any, I didn't do like overdose on sugar or anything like that. So it was, it was the water that I feel like made me in that state this morning when I woke up. I have to set you down. My arm is hurting. Um, so yes, awesome Saturday and Sunday, super productive, great weekend. I hope you guys had one too, and I will see you for Monday's vlog. Bye.